The bubonic plague killed over 25 million people, crippled Europe, and was one of the first agents of biological warfare. Seriously, they used to catapult disease-ridden corpses in enemy strongholds. But on the bright side, if it wasn't for the plague, we wouldn't have the middle class. So thanks, disaster. <laughs> The Middle Ages were filthy. We're talking dirt floors, no indoor plumbing, and everything was pretty much covered in goose poop. <laughs> the feudal system, while glamorously depicted in Game of Thrones, was actually an unimaginable hellscape for the lower classes. Serfs went days without food, lived in smelly huts, and eye contact with the noble would get them a ride on the Spanish donkey. Needless to say, gentrifying the neighborhood wasn't a top priority. Enter the rats. Rats thrive in these conditions and quickly tainted the water supply, which led to the plague. Because nothing says pandemic like rat piss tea. During the plague, 25 million people died, leaving behind a depleted workforce. And that workforce had leverage to negotiate better wages, better working conditions, and the freedom to seek out better opportunities, which marked the beginning of the end of the feudal system and the creation of the middle class. So in a roundabout way, if it weren't for the feudal system and dirty rat tea, we would have never had the middle class. So thanks, disaster. And if you have a disaster you want me to find the bright side of, shoot me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.